Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the room and the glass being half empty. So we're going to liken our room in this video to a glass of water, okay? The room is the glass and the water is distortion, okay? As you can see in these graphics, the water level is over our head. So that's what distortion is in most rooms. Just a raw room that's nothing done to it is full of distortion. It has high reverb times, it has low frequency pressure issues, even if you just walk into it. So rooms by definition are uh, rooms in which there's a high level of distortion. So in, in our example here, the water level's way over our head. So what do we have to do? We have to lower that water level, okay? How do we do that? Well, we first examine all the distortions that we have inside the room. We have reverb, modes, speaker boundary interference effect, and a whole host of others. So those all cause the water level to rise. Each one of those contributes a certain percentage to the problem. And you gotta just start working at, at those percentages and, and go forward from there. So every time we treat one issue, the water level goes down a little bit. But you have to look at the hierarchy of order and the percentage of influence each one of these uh, distortions has, and you have to treat those accordingly. So, like I always say, good sound quality is about working through a lot of little layers, doing a lot of little things, but more correctly doing them in the proper sequence and order. So, you wouldn't want to tackle speaker boundary interference effect if you didn't have speakers. Uh, room modes are present in, in all rooms, but if you're not generating a lot of low frequency issues, they're not going to be an issue. So you have to be very, very careful and you have to analyze each room and, and usage on its own. So that's why I'm always harping on what is the usage? What is the usage? What are you doing in the room? Because what you do in the room contributes to how many sound sources you have, which contributes to how much distortion you're going to get. The distortion in all small rooms stays the same. It's the percentage of it that you impact with your usage. Try to uh, put an Atmos system in a closed closet and you'll have lots of issues with the, all of these. But you'll have the same problems that even a larger room has, so just in a bigger percentage. So to look at everything, look at it as a whole and then tear, look at it at a macro level and then strip away each micro level detail and lower the water level in our glass so that you can hear more. Get rid of the distortion. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.